Hello, Bethany family. This is Friday, March 27, 2020, and I want you to know that I miss you terribly. I so look forward to the day when we can gather, shake hands, hug, and worship together in our sanctuary. I know the day is coming. In the meantime, here's an update of what is happening. Bethany will remain closed because of the COVID-19 pandemic. As you undoubtedly know by now, the staff is sheltering at home, working remotely. That is except for me and Chris today, because we happen to be in the church filming this update. We speak to each other every day. We meet by Zoom on Mondays and Fridays in the morning. And as always, you can contact us by phone and email as needed. We continue to be here to serve you. Your pastoral search team has begun meeting also by Zoom. They met last Sunday and are meeting again this Sunday. Please keep them in your prayers as they seek God's guidance in finding a permanent lead pastor for Bethany. I am very thankful for the good work being done by your staff at responding to people with needs at planning together our schedule of communicating with all of you, and at seeking to find ways to keep our ministries alive and vital in these days. I am most grateful for Pastor Chris and for Allie, who preached powerful and practical sermons over the previous two Sundays. This Sunday, I will be preaching on the topic of gentleness, love's leadership style. While I will reference several parts of Scripture let me recommend that you read Matthew 20, 20 through 22, as that will be the launching place for the message. You can access the sermon by 10 o'clock on Sunday morning. It will be on our website at www.bethanycovenant.org. I encourage you to check the Bethany website, just named above, on a daily basis for devos, family activities, connections to Zoom meetings, including classes, these updates and sermons. Please know that we are also mailing much of this information to those who do not have smartphones, computers, and or no internet connections. Please continue to pray for God and God's ways to be revealed in us during these days. Reach out to one another by phone, by FaceTime, by text, by Skype, by cards, and all the ways possible. Let's not miss the opportunity this crisis provides for us to be God's people, not only for each other, but for our neighbors as well. And as you are able, please don't forget to mail in or give online your tithes and offerings so we can meet our expenses and remain active. Thank you for being so faithful and generous in these unusual days. Finally, remember, God is with us, so who can be against us? God bless you.